This was trade deadline in 2017. The notorious Kelvin Benjamin trade. I, I literally thought this was the greatest move at the time. I can remember where I was. I was at 726 Broadway in New York City up studying and my friend who's a big Eagles fan like tapped me on the shoulder he was like dude the Bills just traded for Calvin Benjamin I was like no way no way we got this dude I was like so hyped and I remember telling all my friends who were around me who were Giants fan with fans with the exception of my Philadelphia Eagle friend that the Bills were gonna go to the playoffs I mean I wasn't wrong we, we did Benjamin. go to the playoffs but Benjamin did not you know, like he was not an impact like I thought he was. We gave a third and a seventh for Calvin Benjamin. With the power of hindsight, let that sink in. <laughs> but at the time I thought it was good. And as I mentioned before, unfortunately, this is this is a pretty bad move by Bean and probably his worst move as the Bills GM, but at the time it seemed pretty good to me. Yeah, it, it's up there. Um, I was also very excited for Kelvin Benjamin. Um, and then I I remember going to a training camp practice at St. John Fisher and seeing him in person. And he was just, like, larger than life. But I remember, like, to my untrained eyes, just, like, I couldn't stop looking at him. And I was following him everywhere on the field. And it just looked kind of lazy to me and I was like you know he's such a good receiver he doesn't have to be giving his all in training camp it's fine Mm -hmm. and little did I know you know that's not fine you know I I remember going to uh, previous training camps and watching Stevie Johnson on the sideline and he had like this giant medicine ball and he was like after practice working and just looking shredded and just going to town and Calvin Benjamin, when I saw him, was just, you know, hanging out, whatever. Like, mm-hmm. I'm a pro, I got this. Um, but I think I think this was one of the most important moves being made oh, yeah. because it was a giant learning lesson. And we had the previous episode of, like, what's more impactful, wins or losses. And I think the Calvin Benjamin situation set up the, the paradigm games. shift for being... <laughs> And it was, we went away from, you know, the prototype of receiver that Bean had saw in Carolina with Devin Funches, Calvin Benjamin, tall. these these tall, big-bodied. Mm-hmm. Um, they're not going to give you much after the catch. They're not, you know, they're just big bodies. They're going to catch it at the point of attack and kind of shifted to, well, let's get guys that can get open, you know, smaller, shifty, elite route runners. But it also showed us that Bean was A, willing to take a big swing on something and make a move to make it happen, and B, a little bit further down the road, that he was willing to admit when he made a mistake and not reinvest in the mistake and move on from it. So, yes, this was a big L, but I think it was also a big learning moment that really helped in the long run. Right. And by some miracle, a.k.a. great coaching, the Bills ended the longest playoff drought in major sports that year for the time. It's because you said we were going to the playoffs. Yeah, I guess. Well, I got that from Adam Shine because he said, the Bills are going to the playoffs, and it really amped me up. I was like, we're going, we're going. And he was right. 